Hello Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. You could be trying to reach a goal or make like some huge accomplishment here. I feel like you already have, to be honest with you, but I feel like, boy, it's tired you out. Look at how tired you are. <laughs> So you work real hard. You, um, you've been learning a lot on this journey. You've been transforming. Collective, you've been through a lot here. Um, you're in both Empress and Emperor energy. That's how I know how much effort you've put into yourself, okay? Um, it takes a lot to reach that kind of energy, and you made it. It's a massive accomplishment, but I feel like you need to maybe take some time to rest, rejuvenate. Um, you could be getting, um, I'm here in slow down. I've gotten that in readings to the, uh, before too. But um, yeah, you're getting messages from the divine that maybe you need some rest. You made it. Okay, whatever goal you were wanting to reach, you made it. Uh, through this last cycle, acquiring both Empress and Emperor energy, you did it. But now I feel like it's time for you to rest. Yeah, see, you made it through the door to personal healing and happiness. I feel like, yeah, but the door is open still. You need to heal yourself, rejuvenate, replenish, get outside, right? Get outside, smell the fresh air, take your shoes and socks off, walk through the grass, you know, get grounded, get stable. Yeah, look, this car, I feel like you've been caught in a storm. All right, that's how I'm feel, uh, feeling about this. But it's 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 ending. This cycle is ending. Um, and the divine has opened this door to personal healing and happiness for you because you did your work. They want you out of the way of this karmic storm. I feel like you need to take time to relax. For some of you, um, if you're not getting a whole lot of sleep, that's, you know, in a dream state, that's when the divine gives you a lot of downloads. So they may be really trying to get you to rest, but you're, you're, um, you're such a hard worker. Yeah, you're the angel of love here, possibly working on a project here, or somebody could be pregnant as well. Maybe that's why you're tired and feeling kind of low on energy. Somebody could be pregnant here. Um, there's a new caring connection coming in. With, yeah, I feel like somebody could be pregnant and maybe not even know it. If you've met somebody new um, who's been working on things with you here, may possibly Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, um, I feel like for someone, someone could be pregnant and not even realize it. So if there's a chance that you could be pregnant, you may want to take a test because I do see something really draining you. I mean, you've got all of this emperor, empress energy, really strong energy, but look at how tired and drained you are. Um, And then all of a sudden, what I'm seeing here is this can stand for a pregnancy, and I'm seeing you kind of like looking down at your belly or something that maybe you don't even realize it. Or maybe that's why it could be why the divine wants you to rest is because after this is all over and done, um, you're going to be getting meeting someone new and getting pregnant. I feel like you're in the process of letting things go as well. Um, starting a new journey here. You got your bags packed. Uh, my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. Yeah, you're leaving on a jet plane. <laughs> um, and you don't know when you'll be back again. Like, that's it. You're dropping, you're dropping a connection here. You're disconnecting and you're moving on. I feel with somebody new. This is for somebody who may have already met someone new. Yeah, you're, uh, you're having a victory here. Somebody, you found love with someone here. Maybe there's some still some things that you need to release from the past in order to completely move forward with this person, this new person. But this is somebody new in your life. 
that's the feeling that I'm getting. And this person wants to be there for you. They they want to be rock solid for you. This person, um, uh, it's almost like they already know you're the one that they want. Okay? Yeah, you're out here having a victory. I'm seeing nothing but good things for you right now. Releasing all the pain from the past, the brokenhearted memories, the things that kept you um, maybe on delay. You're done. Your life is about to change like really drastically here. Especially with an 11, you're about to be majorly blessed with, um, this is a lot of blessings coming to you. A cornucopia of blessings. That's how I'm seeing this. I feel like it's a, it's a victory with money. Travel, possibly a new home, a new love, a pregnancy that you may not even know about it yet. Yeah, they're telling you, just come on, come on, keep moving forward here. Um, you're at the end of the cycle. You found the doorway to spirit. I've got the temperance angel on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you're closing out a cycle and beginning a new one. As the door closes here, a new one opens. There's still people, though, in the background that are pulling on your energy. That could be what this is, too. People pulling on your energy, sending you bad juju. It's reaching a point where that's done. It's starting to kind of dissipate, fizzle out. Um, and all of this bless all these blessings are just going to rush to you. you. Like I said, I feel like you're already getting blessed with abundance. Um, rest time. That's a blessing. Okay? <laughs> As a single mom, rest time is a blessing, all right? Um, and a new caring connection here. Like I said, I'm really feeling like somebody is about to get pregnant or you may already be pregnant and not know, all right? I feel like the divine wants you to think about the wonderful things that you have coming to you in the, in the future. Yeah, look, this is a man holding the heart. Um, yeah, everything is opening up for you here. All of these doors, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of listing them all, right? A massive accomplishment. Let's let's count the doors. A massive accomplishment, okay? Um, you've got money, right? The door to personal healing and happiness. You've got travel and a move. You've got um, a new person coming in um, and a possible pregnancy that's about to take place. And I just feel like love, blossoming abundance, happiness here coming in. I mean, you're really, all of these blessings are going to start coming towards you. You may be tired right now. You may feel very drained right now. But I'm, look, the divine wants you to get rest. Okay? I saw this picture of you and I'm like, you need rest, honey. You do. You've been working really hard. You've been through a lot. You're going to be getting more downloads because the divine is trying to lead you on your path now into your new cycle, your new way of life. Everything's going to start popping for you really fast. All of these doors are like flying open all at once. Okay? Blessings are rolling in. The divine may want you to get out in the sunlight Maybe take a spiritual bath, get in some water. Um, like I said, take your shoes and socks off. I think I said this. Take your shoes and socks, socks off and walk through the grass. Get grounded, you know, because everything's it's literally going to start popping for you really, really quickly. I think they're trying to get you prepared. And you've got still a community of haters here. The, a community of haters. This is why one of the reasons why you feel so exhausted and fatigued and maybe even, maybe even not real clear-headed. You're just really tired. This is why. These people in the background are doing spell work, okay, with the magician, the community, um, possibly three dark feminine energies just doing nothing but hating on you. Getting together for ladies' night to cast some some kitchen magic. I don't know. Um, but here's the thing. With the temperance angel being on the bottom of the deck and Archangel Michael. <laughs> yeah. And Uriel. 
Um, I feel like they're being blocked, heavily blocked, it's, especially with Archangel Michael out here. He doesn't look too happy. Um, you're being very protected from this bad energy. Now it can't reach you. It cannot reach you. With the doors that the divine has opened for you, this evil can't come in. Okay? They can't go through these doors. They're done. These people in your community, these haters, they're finished. I'm telling you. Spirit is not having any more bad energy sent to you. They need you to rejuvenate so you can receive your blessings. Yeah, because you're an angel. They're, try um, they're trying to keep you balanced here. These people are trying to knock you off your balance. These deceitful people cast in the, the spell work. They may try to um, make you lose sleep, um, worry all night. Um, they may make you... I don't know, have low confidence, second guess yourself, be confused. It's going to definitely make you very tired, fatigued. Um, I feel like you know this. This is something that you're dropping, okay? I feel like you know this. And this is one, one of the reasons why you're detaching. And as soon as you detach and leave these people to the divine to, to handle on their own, um, when you do that, the, this is when your blessings come in. This is when all these doors open. Yeah, but right now they want, what did I say? They want you to get your rest. They want you to rejuvenate because you have been under a heavy, heavy spiritual attack. Okay. And the divine has seen what it's done to you, right? I feel like it's it's had some kind of effect. It hasn't ruined your abundance or it hasn't really slowed you down. But, I mean, you've had to persevere through that. That takes a lot of energy away from you. So they're telling you now is the time to rest and rejuvenate. Get outside. Have positive vibes. Get grounded, right? Notice the beauty around you. Be thankful for what you already have. Always be thankful. Okay? Um, but yeah, they, they're trying to replenish you. Drink plenty of water. Get in the sunlight. Okay? And um, yeah, just know that the divine is fighting a spiritual battle for you. Um, I want to know what's going to happen to these three. Because see, you're... you're yeah, I'm... I'm the devil is on the bottom of the deck. Um, you're moving on. You're moving forward. I feel like after this time of rest, and, you know, it can be for however long you need it, okay? Some of you may just need to take a, a spiritual bath and just clear your head. Some of others, you may need to take a, a week off or something like that. You know what I mean? Just for you. Take some time for yourself. Um... I want to know what's happening with these deceitful people, these ooh, these haters behind the scenes. Yeah, look, there's nothing they can do. It's time for change. But this is my bad. All right, let's reshuffle. All right, what's going to happen with these people here, Divine? These haters going after my collective. There's, I don't think there's anything else they can do. The Divine is literally building a wall between you and them. And if they send you anything else now, it's just going to plink off that wall and come right back to them. Yeah. This, like, tells your whole entire story here. That's too many cards. What's going to happen with these people in the background casting all of this magic? They may send someone in to give you some kind of fake love offer. Yeah, I feel like they're just playing with you. They're just messing with you. They may some, send someone in with a fake apology or a fake love offer. This person just plans on coming in, getting you wrapped up in your head again and leaving. They're doing nothing but watching you. They want to know. This is it. They want to know um, if any of their spell work is having any kind of effect. 
you're not talking to anyone. You're pretty much keeping to yourself, working really hard, possibly late hours. You're just working and you're not giving them any clue as to whether or not this is having an effect. So I feel like they're sending someone in to see. They're very curious. They want to know because you're, you're coming off as being extremely strong. Okay. Um, it's kind of like uh, the, the criminal always returns to the scene of the crime. That's kind of what this is. They're coming in around just to see, you know, they want to snoop. They want to see if anything, yeah, because look, they, it's a community sending you a tax. Yes, I'm telling you, but you've got their energy blocked. Okay, you're blocking their energy out, and so is the divine. So I feel like, yeah, they will be sending someone in to, you know, how you doing these days? How's your business going? Um, or how are you feeling, right? If somebody comes in to ask you like a bunch of questions about you, especially since, you know, we've been pretty isolated and all of a sudden somebody shows up at your door asking you how you're doing, right? How's your job going? Is everything okay? You know what, these are people that could be coming in that sent you this bad energy that just want to see if it's working on you. So be careful. Um, yeah, look, yes, and that's true. It's true. So somebody is coming in just to see if their spell work is working. Yep. They're curious. They want to know because it doesn't seem to be working and I feel like they're getting really upset about it. <laughs> yeah, has the spell work, magician, has the spell work had any effect? Are you ruined yet? Man, I'm telling you the nerve of these people. You know, you may not even, you may know who it is that I'm talking about. When you see them, I feel like you're going to know and you're not, you may not even talk to them. Okay, you've got this two of swords up protecting yourself. You don't want to have anything to do, I feel, with anyone from your past. Um, but, yeah, they want to see if their spell work has worked. Okay? Because you're not giving them any kind of clue. But it hasn't. You're a warrior. That's why. I feel like you've been really put through it. You've been, you've been under heavy spiritual attacks here. Enough for the divine to scream out to me that you need rest, not once but twice in this reading. So I know you've been under spiritual attacks, but look at you shining. You are a warrior. You persevere through it. And you come out having a victory. Okay? You're in control of yourself. Um, yeah, they're not in control of you. Uh, you could be a Libra, Gemini, or I don't know why I said Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be any sign, okay? And this is a group of people, a whole community, who's been sending you some um, really dark energy, Okay. I feel like it's not having an effect on you, Collective, because you've been prayed up. You stay close to the divine. I'm just noticing this person praying. Yeah, and all of their work is not going to pay off. You're very spiritual, very intuitive, absolutely sweet here. I'm really picking up on Empress Energy. Um, very abundant, stable, grounded. Yeah, you're, you're in very close contact with the divine, okay? And whatever hard work these people were putting in, um, there's been a lot of spells. I'm, each one of these pentacles could be a spell that they threw at you. I mean, they've done everything that they can, but nothing is working. Um, and it's not going to after this point anyway. What uh, The divine has built a wall between you and these haters. And whatever bad energy they send you now is going to come back on them. It's just, it's, it just feels like constant failure for these people. And I feel like it's already having an effect because they're all fighting amongst each other. 
Why isn't this working? Let's try this spell. Let's try that spell. Why isn't that working? The collective is still out here standing strong because they're a warrior and very spiritual. Why isn't this stuff working? Yeah, I feel like it's already started to come back on these people, causing a lot of chaos and confusion and fighting. Oh, yeah. And meanwhile, they're still obsessed at finding out if, if you're ruined, okay? This is what they want to do. But I feel like you're out here having a victory. You're done. Yeah, you've been, they've put you through it. You've been through a battle, and you're coming out stronger than you ever have been before with this Six of Wands next to the Strength card. Yep, and it's everything's about to come back on these people. They could be losing their health, bad health, um, not wanting to face their own magic that they sent you, okay? It's, it, it's almost like they're in spiritual jail. They can't move. They, anything they sent to you is coming right back on them. Um, yeah, the divine has, this, has these people cornered. I feel. So yes, you are about to hear from somebody here, but they just want to know if you're ruined yet from all of the, look at, I'm seeing this card, I'm seeing this card. Are you ruined yet from all the spell work that we sent you? Did it give you a tower? <laughs> this is what they want to know. This is what they want to know. Yep, because of all the spell work. Eight of Wands, the Moon, and the Tower. Are you ruined yet? That's all they want to know. And you're not. You're not. You're actually out here strong and having a victory. The only thing is the Divine wants you to get your rest. I cannot stress that enough. I can't stress that enough. So the nerve of these people, man, I'm telling you, what's going to happen to these people after this? It's ridiculous. They're only sending someone in to see if, it, if you're ruined, okay? To see if the spell work is having any kind of effect. Yeah, to see if they can get you stuck and trapped in, in your mind again. Um same cards here. I feel like there's a masculine energy that knows about all of the spell work. This is someone from your past who wants to come back around in a lot of regret. They want to try to get you to calmer waters. I feel like maybe this is somebody coming in to warn you about this. This could be someone from your past who doesn't want to let you go. I don't know who this is. I feel like they're checking to see if you have any, if the spell work is getting you stuck in your head and bringing you down. That's all that they want. Okay? And there is a masculine energy, I feel, who knows this. And they may be coming in to warn you or something. Yeah, they see you as their match. They want to get back together here. Or this could be you with this new person. I feel like this is what they're dreaming of. They want to be married to you. They want to get back together with you. They may even want to protect you here with the Four of Wands because they know spell work's been done. So, yeah, um, you got, you got, there's a masculine who may show up in a lot of regret with a warning. They're sending in other people to see what the damages are. Um, is it having an effect because they're starting to go crazy because the spell work's coming back on them? Um, yeah, they just want to make sure that you're going to be destroyed, but that's not happening. You're under heavy spiritual protection right now, heavy, okay? And you're not only protected, but the divine is actually trying to care for you, okay? Um, so, yeah, just be expecting... I'm seeing at least two people showing up here, okay? I'm seeing your person from your past maybe showing up with a warning and a confession and wanting to get back together. And I'm seeing the, this um, toxic um, community sending somebody in that you may trust, right? 
to see how you're doing, get any kind of information they can, right? So be careful who you talk to, be careful who you give your information to right now. These haters, they don't deserve to know anything about what's going on in your life. And just let the divine take care of them because I'm telling you, um, spirit is stepping in here and you are heavily protected. 